Alright, let's create an ISO grid in Photoshop. Control N to create a new document. Let's make it 2048 by 2048. Right, and Control 0 to fill the canvas um, um, in the window. Select the marquee tool and while holding shift down, drag this little square in the corner. Go down to your layer panel and select a solid color. Let's make this a bright pink. Uh, make sure your layer is selected. Then press V on the keyboard or make a uh, selective uh, move tool. And while holding Alt, drag down. Okay, let's snap it, but make sure that your snapping is enabled. So go to View and make sure snapping has a check mark next to it. If it doesn't have a snap, snap mark, it, uh, a check mark, it won't snap. Right, double click the layer icon to change the color to something different like a blue. Make sure both layers are selected and while holding Alt, drag it down till it snaps to the bottom of the previous square. Select all the layers and repeat the process. Okay. All right, so select all this, the new layers that you've created, Control G and uh, let's call this our snapping guides all right so then uh, select the marquee tool again we want to drag a line now and i think let's make it as narrow as possible then select your um, select solid color again uh, change this to green for instance right and then um, let's snap it to the bottom of the pink square and while holding alt drag it down till it snaps to the bottom of the blue square select both again and repeat the process Okay, let's, let's select all the green layers and do it once more because we want to have it extend beyond the, um, beyond the canvas. Okay, so and then select all the green layers again and group them. Control G and let's call it the Y. X, uh, Y uh, grid lines. Right, um, you can disable the snapping guides now. Snapping guides. Um, and then select the Y grid again. Control T on the keyboard. Bring it to the center of the canvas. Something like that. Then while holding shift, um, select one of the handles and extend it beyond the canvas press enter on the keyboard and control T again this time we want to rotate it so uh, type in 26 point no 26 comma 5 not point but comma and then press enter and enter again um, this is our Y grid so now we want to create the, the X grid in the um, opposite direction. So press Control J to duplicate it. Let's call it X grid lines. Oi, oi, oi. Right, and then um, we want to apply the we want to merge all of these layers together. So select all of them um, and control E to merge them. Uh, but we want to change the color as well. So control U and uh, drag the slider to the left till it goes red. 
then pr press Control T on the keyboard, right click and select Flip Horizontal and press Enter. Um, select both layers again, so the X and the Y grid. Control T on the keyboard and while holding Shift and Alt in, uh, it will scale it proportionally. So let's scale it till it fills the whole the whole canvas. Press Control Zero to zoom in. And now we want to create the Z axis, the, the vertical axis. Select the marquee tool again and drag a line down, make it narrowish, and select a blue color this time. So we want to select something like that. All right and um, press V on the keyboard to select that. Remember to uh, select Alt and drag it till it um, goes between the crosses. All right, select both layers again, Alt and drag. Right, so we'll repeat the process. Right, select all the blue uh, lines again. Control T on the keyboard and just drag it down to the bottom and make sure it's at the top as well okay and group them and call it z z grid lines select all of the uh, all of the the grid line layers and control g and let's call this iso grid right and lower the opacity to about 30 um, and lock this layer. Create a new fill layer. Let's create something like that. Invert the, the mask. Make sure you've, you've got a brush and um, make sure that your, um, your front and back is set to white and black. So um, if it's not, um, just Make sure that the white is pure white and the black is pure black. And then to draw, make sure you've got your brush selected, brush, and we can start draw, drawing like that. If you make a mistake, press X on the keyboard to erase or undo, so Control Z. Right, so if you press X on the keyboard, it changes the, the front and back color. If it's white, it's going to draw. If it's black, it's going to erase. All right, so that should do it. That's how you create a grid, an ISO grid in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.